Hello and welcome back to another edition of Panzerkor and welcome to Poland again. Let's switch into the game. Yeah, here we go. So just checking if the stream is working. Yeah, looks good. So let's take a look at the breathing. Listen quickly, Herr General. There's precious little time for talk. Aerial reconnaissance units have detected a large, po a large pocket of Polish troops massing in the Kutnu region. These forces, under the command of General Kutretzba, are advancing quickly in your direction. Surveillance reports have confirmed that the enemy will be attacking in waves. You must hold as many objectives as you are able. Should they break through your defensive line and remain con and regain control of the Sura River, our forces advancing on Warsaw are in serious danger of being outflanked and cut off. Yeah, that sounds like a dramatic start. Um, great weather is forecasted. We didn't get another SE unit, but I think that's fine. And yeah, let's try to get an orientation on this map. Well, let's first do the, the upgrades. As usual, I think we came away pretty clean in the last mission. So we can happily do, do normal replacements, not lose too much experience. It hurts a little bit to get all the deer back under one star, but he will get that back quickly. No doubt that about that. Our pioneers, pioneers are in good condition. This E infantry will drop below one star, but it saves 25 prestige, so that's fine. Yeah, maybe that's greedy. I will think about that. They don't even have transports. The tanks are starting to gather experience quickly. We don't lose too much because the Panzer II doesn't have much experience, so I'm not worried about that. The scout is in good condition. Then I will start to up overstrength my artillery. I'm not planning to lose those overstrength points, so I think that will be fine. And we have stored a lot of prestige already. The Air Force is fine. And I will think about. Uh, Doing the overth ranks on, on the Air Force later because yeah, we still want to buy additional planes. So yeah, I think keeping the star on the SE infantry. That's tempting. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We are ahead in prestige anyways, so that's fine. So our units in general are ready for deployment. I want to buy a tactical, uh, no, not a tactical, uh, yeah, a tactical bomber, a fighter bomber. And now we have two units we can't deploy. One of them will be our hero here. And I'm thinking about not deploying the fighter or buying another fighter. Sooner or later we have to do it, but going in with a completely green air force I think is not a wise decision. And other than that, I think we need our ground forces. So... I think we are fine for the moment and I will bring in the fighter I think next turn uh, next next map so let's take a look at the strategic situation um, we have the Psura River here and we have to hold but we don't have to hold right away so it, we simply have to control those hexes at the end of the game so 
Taking a look at that, those bridges are obvious positions where we want to withdraw and then take them back later and give the Polish units massive losses while they try to fight for the bridges. Same here. So this is a position where I want to have tanks, here I want to have infantry. We might want to hold the city, put artillery in the back. We obviously want to hold this city and this is an obvious location for infantry in the back again. We see tankettes are coming our way, so our anti-tank cannon will be in this area. And luckily Lieutenant Joker did remind me that this is a defensive scenario, so initially I planned to strike out and take this artillery, but that's not going to happen because they will attack first and yeah we already see a lot of units that are going to swarm us so maybe we can take it out but this scout obviously is going to die so we have no option of attacking it right away maybe the air force can do something but let's see let's see let's do the obvious things first, put infantry into the cities. Then one thing I'm debating with myself still is do I want to position units onto those uh, bridge hexes? Because it seems they will get attacked right away, but it's only Polish infantry. So we might be able to hold here and all the deer has huge initiative bonus so maybe he doesn't take too much damage the reason for doing this would be yeah we have more units already towards the front line we can withdraw them next turn but this gives us the option to use those precious hexes that are close to the river and bring in more support earlier. If we have to bring the infantry up as well, this will delay us and yeah, that's risky, but sometimes I think taking no risks is, is risky as well. So we'll distribute our artillery. We can bring up what, one artillery piece in this direction. I think we can hold with tanks here. So we need artillery here, artillery here and maybe artillery here, so let's do it like that. And I'm thinking about how I can get the artillery in firing position right away. And I didn't test this setup, so sorry, it will take a little bit of time. Um, but at least you can see my thought process how I plan to do it. And one of those bridges is an obvious location for doing traps. So let's choose this one. We will move back, let the Polish units capture this bridge. Then we will move up with the scout, retake it, move back, and then force the enemy to retake it and in that instance, the unit that's, that's going here will immediately attack one of our infantries in there, backed up artillery. So this will be a slaughter, hopefully. Then I want two tanks able to go in this direction. I want one tank here just to be able to support and strike in. So maybe it's, now nah, let's do it that way. One tank, here's open area as well and here's general support. Tank cats. This way the pioneers We'll put in the center, we will see where we need them the most. Then we have our Stuka. This is our 
heaviest hitting unit. So let's give it all strengths. So let's take a look at the distances. This will be the, f <clears throat> the focal point of fights because we see a lot of units here. And I want to be able to hit this artillery. I think we are not in range at the moment. I will distribute my forces a little bit. And that's it. We can't deploy more. So those two will take a break. And I think now we are ready. Let's think about if this deployment is wise. We have very few troops to the right. Maybe it's a wise idea to have a strong flank that can support. But we have not many units in general. So having those two strong groups being able to support. We have a support group that's going to move up. We have a fairly strong force here, backed up by artillery. Yeah. I hope that's going to work out. Let's go into it and see what we are facing. Um, I will make a safe game here. P attack turn one and... Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. I heard a lot of talk about this scenario. Um, obviously it's not that easy, so I'm a little bit nervous going into that. So, let's do it. Big hit, that's good news. Now oh, the scout is doing well. Maybe it lives. Oh no, 13th tanks cavalry unit. Yeah. Ah, they didn't even attack. That's good news. Looks like our defenses are going to hold at least for the first turn. Still great weather. So, let's see what we can see. We could outflank them here, but I'm not sure if that's wise. But getting rid of them could be very helpful. But that could be a lot in the back so not sure not sure so let's start and do the obvious things first we will bring our units into position maybe force them back a little bit we could use um, our air force to finish that single unit off I think that's good one unit down so now they are out of vision and this Wehrmacht infantry can entrench again so tanket Polish infantry okay we can deal with that We need to bring artillery into position. We want to prevent them from crossing the river. And we have a lot of anti-tank cannons here. So we'll see. I will keep one down here to Take a look at the river. Don't want to get surprised. And I don't trust them. There might be a sneak attack going across. We have this bunker keeping, keeping watch, but who knows, who knows. Then we have one tank that is able to 
quickly move towards the river to prevent them from crossing if they dare to go onto the river. Then I will withdraw into artillery cover. Then the ten cats. Not sure where I'm going to face most of the damage coming in. But we have a lot of anti tank cannons coming up here, so. I think moving to guard the river is good. Yeah. I have to think about that. Yeah, that was a very poor hit, but the plan would have been to force this Polish infantry to back off. But now there's already a choice. We could um, do a very aggressive maneuver, try to force them back. But I a little bit low on scouting info. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be too bad, but I think we will play it conservatively. Move back, protect the bridge, set up artillery. and move the tanks in position to guard this location. Yeah, I think that's fine for now. I will move infantry up. Move the tank. So now I think we have a solid line established. Yeah, that looks good. And we will try to hold the line here. Move our Panzer 1 so that he will be able to support. And other than that, that's fine. The infantry can dig in. And as long as it's only Polish infantry, they will have a hard time digging us out. The only risk is mass attack. When we get digged out, we will start to suffer. But as it is at the moment, we should be safe. Maybe I want to move more. Yeah, I think having the tank ready to repel those Polish infantry units will be a good idea. We can do one, two, three, four. Yeah, we can do it. So I'm happy with this layout for now. Let's see what the Polish units are able to do. Ambush, perfect. We still suffer some hits, that's... Not good. But at least now they are blocking themselves, so we should be safe for the moment. Well, that worked out rather nicely. So, good thing we have replacement units ready. Um. But one option will be to give up the city right away, Piatek. Because, yeah, we are already in trouble. 
if I move up my artillery, this will be problematic. But at least we can do, we can force surrenders here. Let's, no, we can't force a surrender because they can move on to the river. But at least we can destroy them on the river. Yeah, I will think about that. That That's the complicated situation. But dealing with the tankettes, I think, is a priority. They seem to be the main issue at the moment. So let's bombard them right away. Let's carefully advance here. I don't want to run into a major trap. We'll take back the victory location. And hopefully induce some attacks. We could even dash out and take the city, but I don't think that's too wise. Can't pull back this way. So... At the moment, there's no immediate threat here. So the main issue... At the moment, it's forcing them back. So let's see. This Wehrmacht infantry is in trouble. But positive thing is, if we get rid of this tankette, they can't threaten our artillery and the pioneers should be safe now. So that's a success. Our heavy tank should be able to block them from doing any damage. And we'll try to force them back across the river. Major hit. Perfect. So this position should be quite safe. And now we are at a little bit of a risk. But we can't block them out and... I think I will rather advance my units for now. We can always shuffle back if we see that units Try to file down to the south. And then we will let them attack into here, I think. So we still have full ammo. So dealing blows to the Polish cavalry units, I think, is the best idea. Keeping them down. The Kipirksjäger are entrenching here, that's fine. This is a solid defensive line. That's good, so I'm happy with that. Then we have units in reserve. I think Oledir is fine on his own at the moment. 
will move like that. And this should be enough to hold, so I rather move my tank so I can repel the yeah the main force or the main first wave I think will hit us here. So this position seems good enough. Let's resupply. And yeah, all the deer did a great job. No that yeah, that's all the deer. This is fine. So I think I'm happy with the front line for now. They will dig in. They are already protected by artillery. This seems like a stable position. So let's keep our fingers crossed and hope we didn't miss anything. Yeah. Problem here is our artillery is a little bit too effective, so the trap doesn't work like it should. Um, because they are completely suppressed, so they break off their attack. If they are not completely suppressed, they would get wiped out. So, let's see. You are not an issue. Get out of here. We'll take back the victory location, use this opportunity to resupply our artillery. We are completely in supply here, that's good. Then, yeah, most dangerous position. Now we can try to force a surrender on this tanket. It's almost completely suppressed, so that should work out. Successful surrender. Then we will try to weaken this artillery. Not a great hit. Then we will have to force them back across the river. Because this is the main threat. Units that are able to, to get here. And now they can attack our artillery. So we would need additional artillery to hold Piatek, I think. For now. Maybe it's best to really withdraw a little bit. And we will keep tabs on this infantry. But for now they can do nothing. We'll move up to provide mass attack bonus. Get rid of another cavalry unit. That's great news. Yeah, and I think it's it's not possible to hold here. We would need an additional piece of artillery we don't have because of our historic layout. So, let's see, what can we do? Five shots left in the artillery. Yeah, we'll go back.
and hopefully give them trouble. This weekend Wehrmacht infantry we will use as support. Maybe we can make something happen if they try to go onto the river. But the tank will be able to do massive damage to them on the river. And they can have Piatek for now. Maybe there will be an option to force multiple surrenders here. But we will see about that. So they are digging in. That's great. They are digging in. That's great as well. And we could try to shorten our, our front line here by advancing a little bit. Not sure what's lurking in the background, so I'm a little bit worried. I'm running into traps here, but that's fine. One artillery guarding two uh, river crossings. This is a very sturdy, solid line. I hope the pack will get some experience. And this is unbreakable for now. Yeah, I think I'm happy with the way that turns out for now. Just have to make sure we don't run out of ammo. So that's it, let's end the turn. Once again, the trick works out like a charm. Yeah, that's good. So, very happy with the positioning at the moment. So, once again... Getting experience on my heavy tank. Force them back again. We still have a lot of ammunition, so yeah, let it, it doesn't help attacking here. So we'll grab the ammo instead. Um, keep firing at this artillery piece. It's the main issue we are facing. Try to dig them out. I absolutely want to force them back out of the city. So now they have to move into it again. Or we could even take the opportunity to, to retake it. But then we are moving into range of this artillery. And for the moment... I rather want to avoid that. So, ammo count 5, that's still fine. I rather force them back, force them to reinforce. This will slow them down. And we are gaining massive amounts of experience this way without hurting our own units and yeah they are if they are dumping their prestige into that that's fine with me but we should take this opportunity to resupply or at least next turn we should resupply And I will stay as is, protect myself from attacks from the north. So let's resupply. Those are all resupplied anyways. This is a very safe position. So we'll take in ammo on supplies. and let them attack into us so this looks fine we'll move up so 
we can attack onto the river in force. But for now, I don't feel too threatened. We can take back all of those, no problem whatsoever. Let's end the turn. Yeah, the only problem is uh, our artillery is too effective, so maybe we shouldn't have reinforced them at all. But let's see. Maybe we can get rid of this artillery. Uh, defense on the Stuka, that's not the great hero. Um, I can't destroy it anyways, so I think for the moment it's better to once again drive them out of the city, get some experience on my anti-tank cannon. Same routine. And yeah. Kind of former forward defensive line. I think we are pretty safe here. I'm hesitant of, of moving into the forest here. But I think I will, well, let's see. Ammo count is still fine. Another unit destroyed. Four. And this is massive experience gain. Um, but now it definitely is time to resupply. So is it worth going out here? And finishing off this piece of artillery. Now, having a scout plane would be ideal. So nothing is moving. We can advance and form a massive anti-tank line. Well, thing is, we are running out of ammo here. And they seem to run out of support, un support units. So... Not sure. I think I will hold for now, because now they can only attack with one unit. We have one shot left in the artillery. I will stay as is. We can... kind of give up this um, this defensive position. And form another one around back of Gorni. Maybe that's too aggressive, but for now I'm confident we can hold. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Yeah, we have enough ammo, we will miss our air force for the moment and risking our panzer one here in order to take out the artillery that 
that could be wise or it could be a disaster. I really don't know what to do here. Ah, let's do it. And now we can take this opportunity. Hold Piatek again. Now we won't have to fire any shots. Can resupply our artillery. And um, yeah, resupply our artillery. That's a good position. That's a good position. Yeah, I'm very happy. And the turn. And the Polish Air Force is back. How about that? But we know how to deal with them. But yeah, our BF is not in the, be in the best position here. So I think I will finish this turn and then it's time to Yeah, this is a very strong fortress resupply could even attack into that but don't think it's even worth it the panzer one kind of has to retreat it's in a very exposed position so movement range of five That's good. We will even move out to support it so that we don't can't get surrounded as much. We'll use this opportunity to resupply again. Simply hold position for now. Maybe take out this cavalry unit for good. Not quite, but it doesn't matter. Well, actually, we could do it. This anti tank cannon, yeah, not sure. I will think about that. And now it's time to resupply on this front line as well. Wow, goose, 340 in the morning. Impressive, impressive. So let's see. Options, tons of options here. I think, I think. No, we have to resupply um, our artillery defenses here. So this cavalry unit will stay here, try to reinforce so it will block the way we can use this opportunity to resupply our defending units. We are not at the risk of getting overwhelmed here at the moment. Same here. This will have to uh, reinforce. We can use this opportunity to resupply. 
This is a sturdy position. I'm happy with that. Maybe shuffle those two and get the infantry into the city. But other than that, that's fine. I can use this opportunity to resupply and that's it. So our defensive wall is ready. And no, I excuse, I didn't bring any fighters because I didn't know there would be a Polish Air Force again. I fully expected that there would be a warning because they said there's no Polish Air Force anymore. <laughs> and yeah, turns out that's not the case. But at least I have, um, I have my BF 110 and it should be able to keep the Polish fighter in check. So that's it. I think time for a first break. I'm happy with how this defense has gone so far. Um, absolutely almost no losses. We are firmly in control of our objectives. The bridge really doesn't count too much. And yeah, see you in a few minutes. Well, let's double check six turns out of 20. No, I think we'll do one more. Let's end turn and and now we know where the second um, where the second wave is going to happen so let's reshuffle our units good thing our um, Air Force is ready again. Problem is, it's a rainy day. Um, we can't get too many supplies. Well, 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 that's problematic. Let's do the easy stuff first. Try to entrench in the city and prepare for the attack that will definitely come sooner or later. We'll reshuffle the scout, move back across the river. We are pretty much in full supply. Well, that's a pity. Don't think I want to let him get away. The cavalry units are the most troublesome thing around here. So the Panzer II will have to fight for its own. I think the the attack vector shuffled anyway. We'll get our Air Force in position to make something happen on the other side. This is still a sturdy defensive location. We absolutely need to get back the supplies now because we are running out. And now this is a problem. So now I know why we've got so many anti-tank cannons here. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad, Goose. Uh, he's saying 
he's admiring my he's amazed at my restraint not being shocked at the amount of troops coming at us but after playing soviet core nothing can shock me <laughs> the german waves there were a lot a lot worse so several options we could give up Os osorkov for the moment move back let them take the city and fire at them with anti-tank cannons that's one option or we'll try to force them back that's step one then we'll reshuffle our units thing is now we are safe because now they can't threaten my defending artillery and I think it's even fine to try to whittle down this 70p We have to use our non-core units and the thing is they can't see anything as well I think. Well next turn it will be great weather again. Yeah and, and thanks for the tip Goose. I've already two experienced fighters on, on, on Manstein so after the first scenario so I don't think I need to build up experience on them. But this is definitely a great scenario to build up experience for your units. So we are completely in supply, we are completely in supply, we are safe here and we are supplied. This is an entrenched position guarded by artillery. Here we are safe against the tanks, I think. Our air force will be back in a minute. We just have to watch out that we, well, these are not targets we have to hold, so don't care. Yeah, I think we are good. Let's end the turn. Yeah, great shot. And now we are blinded, that's too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad actually. We we can we can handle this. So let's see. Let's not make mistakes. Try to whittle down their fighter still. Wow, big hit. We'll get rid of the cat. Bring our Panzer 2 two back to safety. I'm still. okay with this position we could withdraw again and let them attack into us so that worked out perfectly last time so doing more damage but with a non-core unit i don't think it's worth it if they are blocking themselves that's fine with me um, bring the back the scout it seems this Renault 
this the most dangerous enemy so let's try to get rid of him let's grab supplies well goodbye reno Good luck 70p and if they want to waste their if they want to waste their exp uh, their prestige um on reinforcing their Heavy tanks, that's fine with me. So this is stable. We are awaiting the attack. Digging in. And I think I want to withdraw again here, but I'm not decided yet. And I might withdraw here simply because this uh, Polish infantry could attack my artillery. But on the other hand, it's weakened, it's on the river. And don't think they can do too much damage to it. I think it's more valuable to try and hold for the moment. Because I don't have perfect options to withdraw without giving up too much territory. The Wehrmacht infantry in the background is blocking me a little bit. Ideal would be artillery here, two units here. So we will do that next time. But um, for now, I think we have to hold this way. And I think getting back my... Getting back my puck here might be a wise thing. And we still have 12 turns to go, so we have to be careful not to damage our units too much. Switch them out. Let the pioneers do their thing. Yeah. Let's do it that way. Here we can hold. And here we hope we can hold. So let's end the turn. Fight the uh, bombers are in action. Yep, yeah, that's good. Let's end the turn. And worked out. Did it do nothing? So I think now it's time for a first break. Um, still safe, very safe here. I hope we can shoot down the enemy fighter. That would be a victory indeed. We will try to get rid of them. We will try to get rid of this tank. Unfortunately, I can't force a surrender here, but. I think now it's time to pull back and, and yeah, put up more traps. But for now, we're holding. So, thanks for watching and break a few minutes. I will be back and I will finish holding here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> see ya.